Hey guys, I'm Nars, and this is HyperX's Good Game, the show celebrating all of the good things happening around the world of video games. Real world experiences, they fill a huge gap between formal internships and traditional education. It also doesn't hurt bulking up your college application, am I right? That's where the 1000 Dreams Fund comes in. It's a non-for-profit that provides scholarships and grants, sure, but it does a whole lot more. Take the Fund's Broadcast for Initiative. Its mission? To help women pursue their dreams in content creation and gaming. What you may not know is that HyperX is an active supporting partner in the 1000 Dreams Fund. At the HyperX Esports Arena, young women from all walks of life are given a unique opportunity to score some experience in front and behind the cameras for career in broadcasting or esports. And that's just one example of what's possible. Deja is a 2020 fellow in our Broadcast Her Academy Fellowship Program for women in esports and gaming. She is one of 10 women selected out of 200 applicants. All right, guys, instead of my usual bit where I tell you about the people in question, how about we bring in Deja to talk about her experiences while co-hosting with me about Broadcast Her. What's up, Deja? How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Really, really good. Thank you so much for joining. Tell us about the process about being selected and signing up for the program. It was a pretty simple process, I guess. When I decided to like finally apply, I kind of like shouted it for a little bit. And then a couple months later, I got the email and the Twitter notification that I was in. I was super duper excited. I like freaked out, I like, texted my mom, I'm like, oh my God, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> now you've streamed before. How has the broadcast her program really helped you when it comes to streaming and the career process? It just opened up my doors and like what I'm able to do. Some of the like hardware upgrades, peripherals, things like that um, just weren't accessible to me. And with this initiative and being a broad broadcaster recipient, I have been able to upgrade those things um, and kind of just focus on content creating than rather than worrying if my mic is terrible. So then that way I can just, when I create, people are not distracted by the poor quality of it. They can really just see me for what I'm doing. And I feel like that's so important because some of those things you just don't know until you actually start streaming. It's like, oh, you've been muted the entire time. But what are some fun lessons that you've learned through the program that you want to share? Hmm. The most important part has been just keep on creating content. So um, just like getting those um, mentors and having other people look up to just being like, yo, you're doing great, here you go. Just keep on creating the content, keep on making more and more of it because that's how you get better. So that's been pretty awesome. Now, how long have you been streaming? I've actually only been streaming for about a year and a half, two years. Um, I'm really new to it still though. Like I still don't know everything about streaming. Um, I'm just an affiliate right now, but it does take a lot of hard work. It's literally like another part-time job. So I, I think about like you having so much experience and learning kind of like the process of being a streamer while some of us just kind of like, you know, do it by trial and error. And I think that's so incredible that there's a program out there which can just get you jump started on like the career of your dream. So I think it's absolutely wonderful. But you know what, Deja? How about we put what you've learned to work? We're gonna bring we're gonna bring on Chrissy Garten, the 1000 Dreams Fund founder and CEO, Deja. Take it away, it's all yours. Hi, Christy. Thank you so much for having Aww. me and being nice on the show. This yeah. is pretty exciting for both of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so nice to see you. So where did the Broadcaster Initiative um, concept come in the first place? 1000 Dreams Fund I launched four years ago and our mission from day one has been to find talented women like you who are working really hard to reach your awesome goals and dreams. So over the past four years, we've gotten to support girls who are college bound, helping them find their best fit colleges. Um, we have a few other programs focused on STEM. And then we got lucky and through a board member got connected to Twitch um, two years ago. And lo and behold, they were interested in working to support women and we're looking to partner with a nonprofit to do that. And so we were able to partner with Twitch um, during Women's History Month 2018, and the community helped us raise over $40,000 to give back to the women on Twitch who are up and coming so we could help fund their dreams. And so since then, we've grown that program, and then through a couple partners, Allied Esports and HyperX, 
we were able to launch the Academy, which is a brand new program under Broadcaster, which you are a part of, and it's our eSports fellowship program. So we're really focused on the educational side of supporting you all, um, not just the funds, but with mentors, um, with an opportunity to visit the eSports arena in Vegas, hopefully this year <laughs> with Fingers COVID crossed. going on. <laughs> uh, yes, ours are too. But this program has been wonderful because we've been able to really work with our partners to create opportunities for you guys and open those doors, which again, why I founded this, it's not just the funds, it's those funds that help you guys get through those doors and get to where you need to go to reach those awesome dreams you have. Yes, and it's definitely been super duper helpful. Uh, my mentor, she's actually from HyperX, which is just like insane. I hope she's watching yeah. this. She's great. Karina, I love you. Um, so just like those awesome. experiences are just amazing. So thank you so much for that opportunity. I know I speak on behalf of every broadcaster grant recipient when I say that this is like just life changing, especially in college, just being like, okay, we have the tuition and we need to pay for my meal plan. I need a place to live and things like that. So having that extra funding to really just dive into our interest and getting those experiences is super necessary. But if you can get, um, you know, that dream job out of our support, wow, those are those success stories for us that we love. We're seeing it happen. We're not just, here's your fun, see you later. You know, we're really, um, you know, wanting to, stay involved and um, build that community and um, you know be there for you guys as you continue your journeys. And that's somebody's dream like one out of a thousand probably. <laughs> yeah. um, so thank yeah. you so much Christy for your time and thank we'll go you. back to you Snars. Personally I am so proud to see this organization working so hard to elevate young women. I wish I had something like this when I first started. If you want to learn more about the organization and what they're doing, you can head on over to their website where you can hear the stories of some of the women they've already helped. If you ask me, I love seeing more streamers coming on the scene. And Deja considered yourself followed. If you hear of great work being done by gamers you know, we love to hear about it in the comments below. Help us spread some more cheer and subscribe to HyperX's channel for more good news. Until next time, I'm Nara saying, good game everyone.